Hello and welcome back to OAP Gaming. In the last episode, we maxed out Emma's I am Emma Honeywell. Devil's Dew. And what I forgot to mention in the last video is we also got the Triumph Fragments, which we were looking for, and we also got the Elven Core, which we also need. That's a guild task. And we got that by splitting the Death Eater. So... In today's episode, we are going to do this, finally going to do this quest with Emma. So we're going back into Numa Mines. And we are. We're going to be doing our best to avoid everything. Later. Upgrade to a formation. Now, it is possible to get down this section without fighting anything. And in all honesty, sometimes I do it and sometimes I don't. Try it now. Really? No. Let's do this! I went too soon. Come on, let's kick some A. I'll show you the strength of Athlum. Nothing's wrong with keeping casualties to a minimum. Sweet! But I wanted to fight more. Rough out stone, that's what we want. We only wanted one of them, we've ended up with 11. They sell for a fair bit of money. I think they sell for something like 900 gold or something like that. Yeah. So that okay, was good. Okay, later. 
That's a good dig for us. So let's see if we can make it to the bottom without any more fights. Chances are I won't. But we'll see. Right, where are we? Going? No, go away, you. Hmm? Well, that's pretty good, only the one fight. And it gives you the map once you get to the bottom. Wonderful. Right. We need the Stone of Marshall to make sure you pick that up. Stone of Marshall opens this door here. But before that, we are going to leave it to me. We're taking Emma out of the party. Impressive, huh? Turning off all attacks. For rush, do not activate remedies just on the herbs. And with Emma, I am Emma Honeywell. Take off her remedies, and we're ready. I know what you're thinking. Hang on, you're only going in with rush. It's fine. Emma will join us and she'll join us with higher stats which is why we did the Death Eater grind to build up her Devil's Dew to level 5. It makes this fight a lot easier. You'll see. Seriously? But not this time! I'll make you remember the name Emma Honeywell! Come on! Finish them off! I'll show you the strength of Athlum! Don't let bullies like you get in my way! Keep it together! And that's how easy the Namal Nadum fight can be. Sweet! Is that all we got? Thought you would never show. 
long time. Mom! Rush! Mom, I couldn't save Dad. This is just like back then. You coming from nowhere and somehow stopping those monsters and saving my life. I need some fresh air. Your father. He won't wake up. Dave said that only Wagram has the power to bring him out of it. Mom. Me and Arena. We've both got the power to call out to remnants. All of this is happening because of our powers, right? I need to know, what are we? And what does that make you? I was... An orphan. The director of the academy took me in when I was a child. To return the favor, I joined the academy and dedicated my life to their research. That's where I learned the truth about who I was. You might have heard of Marion Marshall. She was the woman who bound the remnant illusion to herself and wed the god emperor. The power she held was extraordinary. The power to erase the bindings of remnants and replace them with her own. Inside me rests that same terrible power. For I... I possess Marion's blessing, as does Arena. I didn't know about it until after Arena was born. Oh, if only I'd known to think such terrible things are happening to her, all because of me. Mom, you met Dad. I came along, and then with Arena, the four of us became a family. Were you, were you happy with that? I have never regretted having a family. And I never will. The three of you are what makes up my happiness. Then there's only one thing we can do. We can get that back and be a family again. They want Marion's blessing for themselves, right? Then they're not gonna hurt Arena. We've still got a chance to save her. Rush. Thank you. I know what I have to do now. Here. I made it using the tablet. When you find Arena, I want you to give her this for me. But what are you gonna do, Mom? For now, you should just concentrate on finding Arena. Rush, please, do as I say. Mom? Where has she run off to now? Her actions make no sense. Instead of acting on her own, she should have come with us to Athlam and explained everything to Lord David. I don't get it either, but don't talk bad about my mom. I'm sure she knows what she's doing. Fair enough. But you can do the explaining to Lord David.
Right. Guard the gates! Yes, sir! Come on, get a move on! What's going on? Lady Emma, rush! Oh, thank the Emperor, you're back safe. Like there was any doubt. Things have gotten worse, haven't they? Yes. The Congress has been slow to grant that Conqueror fellow a remnant, and all the Lords are in a flurry over it. And the Conqueror keeps rattling his saber about taking over countries and seizing their remnants. You'd expect that from the sort of person who would bind the Ark. He's made an enemy out of every Lord with a remnant. What's he plotting? For starters, he's building an army. So it's come to war. Where's Dave? He's meeting with an envoy from Duke Ermayan. What's Ermayan want? Our cooperation, apparently. You see, the Congress has split into two factions. One sides with the Chairman, against the Conqueror. The other supports the Conqueror, fearing the God Emperor's wrath. Duke Ermayan wishes to ally with us and end the rift as quickly as possible. He's asked to speak with me directly in Nagapur. What will you do? Take advantage of the opportunity, of course. Lord David? In exchange for supporting Duke Ermayan, I'll have him support Athlam's bid for independence. Think of it. We could finally be free from Salapale. We're hardly in a position to negotiate after what happened with the Academy. Perhaps not, but it makes little difference. We can barely touch the gay bowl without the Duke of Kubine's blessing. Why must it be so difficult for Athlam to protect herself? Our country deserves more than this. This is a chance we have to take. Emma. It's good to see you back safely. I continue to ask your aid for the glory of Athlam. My life is yours. Leave for Nagapur shortly. Make haste in your preparations. Yes, yes my lord. lord. Is there really going to be a war? It seems unavoidable at this point. Once war breaks out, the remnants will be played against each other. And all that will remain is scorched earth, littered with corpses and blank remnants that have lost those they were bound to. These are dark days we live in. Forgive me. I had something to ask you. Did you finally meet with your mother? Yeah. Well? Dave, promise me something. I'll fight for you, for Athlum. But please, don't get Arena or my mom mixed up in this, okay? You have my word. Thanks, Dave. That's all you had to say? Uh, yeah? You'd better hurry and get ready then.
So, doing that quest with Emma in Numa Mines increases our unit capacity to 12, which is good. And this is, I think, a good time to end this episode. In the next episode, we'll be doing Emma's quest. This is a totally different quest. Emma's quest. We'll be hiring uh, some new units and doing a few guild tasks. All very exciting stuff. So, if you've enjoyed the video, please consider hitting that like button. Leave a comment if you like, good, bad or indifferent. I do appreciate all of them. And maybe even consider subscribing to the channel. It's totally free, costs you absolutely nothing, and it really does help me out. So, I do hope to see you in the next episode. And until then, thank you for watching.